Oh yeah, man. Street dances all over the world. Turntable spins, use a new ability, agility that wins, uh And then your crew got burned To be the master of the craft, you gotta practice to learn, kid The street dancer breaks with 1990s and the 80s Paved the way for the days, B Boys, emulating the grace like forty freeze Crazy legs, dynamic breakers with shake Let's dance to the beat of the drummer, that's funky Way before the beaters was bugging on Brass Monkey Hip-hop, new clues is Foxy Angelata In the boxy DJ and was Africa Bambada Brought back to the Bronx, who hurt the innovator DJ and sound system, toasting in Jamaica Got hosting, the host with the most of money maker now I'm moving bricks, but I started out as a breaker. Turntable spins, brothers cautious, listening to Bob James Norris, and of course James Brown, funky drummer the sound in the summer. Before you saw the hustler in the hummer. Yeah, and a few years later, Melly Mel changed up his gear, switched the game up. The gangs of New York seats banging for beat. What the whole five girls break dancing up in the street? Yeah, the turntable spins, the DJ MC coincide like twin the crowd friends, cause they know what they came to hear. If you're born what you wear, uniform in the fresh gear. Hip hop was visible and heard by many. A backdrop or a mural in the park with graffiti. Dances, rappers, original, not phony men. When breaking jackets, knee pads on an opium. There are three easy steps in creating your resume link. Let me show you how. Step 1. Register. Go to www.jobs180.com using any browser. And click Register Now. Fill out all the information needed. In choosing your resume link, Use your full name so that it looks professional and it's easy to recall by potential employers. For example, Antonio Juan de la Cruz at jobs180.com. Step 2 Create and Design. When creating your resume, make sure to complete your personal information and upload your profile picture. One of the highlights of the resume link is the portfolio section. In the portfolio section, you can show off your skills by uploading samples of your work like documents, pictures, videos, and your social media links. Your resume link also features different themes and you can upload a cover photo. This is a combination of a cover letter and a social network cover photo. Here is an example. You can also download a copy of your resume link and print it. Step 3. Apply for a job. There are many ways to apply with your resume link. First is browsing the job recommendations in your Jobs 180 dashboard. If you are qualified, click Submit Resume Link. So what are you waiting for? Dress up your next generation resume, stand out brightly among the competitive job seekers in the market, and win the heart of your future employers using Resume Link.
Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Jobs Marketing Me Live at Chiang Kai Shek College Manila. So, this event is in coordination with Chiang Kai Shek College Manila, and today we will be joined by speakers from Direct Business and Cognizant. So, before we start, may we invite everybody for a short prayer. All right, so welcome everybody. So ready na ba tayo? Um, by the way, I'm Shari from Academic Linkages. I will be today's host. And as usual, for everyone who's here, please comment your name and strand or course, and then type your type in your questions later so we can answer them after that. Talk, okay. Um, please tag your friends. Please share this to your friends if they're not here yet because we start um 11:30 to 1 yun lang yung binigay na time sa atin okay so before we start we will ask um, Mr. John Angel Florin Flores the president of the Junior Students Association organization to officially open our session for this morning good morning everyone on behalf of Changsha College's junior organization and senior organization i like to welcome each and every one of you here to our webinar entitled Marketing Me, live at Chiang Kai-shek College. Let me also express my deepest gratitude to the speakers of today's webinar for accepting our invitation and sharing their knowledge on how we can get ready for job applications. Of course, I would also like to express my sincere appreciation to everyone here for being with us. Let this webinar be a guide on how we can withstand our incoming endeavors. Thank you. All right, so thank you for that, John. All right, so um, we are excited to start our activities this morning. So if you have not done yet, ayan, please comment kung ano yung year nyo and yung course ninyo para our speakers later can, can, can address kung kung sino yung audience nila, no? Pwede natin sila itanong doon later, alright? So, this project is launched to help people learn about job hunting and our topics for this morning include creating your resume by jobsunity.com. We will be um, taught how to do virtual interviews by direct business and how do companies hire for work from home jobs. So, this is applicable for people who will be applying after graduation. Okay, so shout out to everyone who is here. So again, holy to let, please comment your name and course or strand on sa ating comment box. Okay, so let's let's go to our first speaker. Our first speaker is Mr. Kim Chua. He has 20 years of experience in sales, marketing, and business development, customer service, operations, business process, and human resources. So he is a trusted research speaker and he has done over a thousand career development seminars in more than 400 plus colleges and universities nationwide. Yeah. So Sir Kim, if you're there, um, please, the floor is yours. everyone uh, allow me to share to you how to make a job winning resume and a lot of you are now looking for a job and exploring for the next chapter in your life i hope that this uh, session will be able to uh, help you now, not only you but the people that you know that needs help in terms of how to make a job winning resume and so yan na tinatawag nating resume link 
a lot of platforms right now, mga online platforms are being offered left and right. But for you to know, paano to magiging job winning tool or job winning resume to, meron akong checklist. So go with me, no, with all these checklists. Your checklist should include the following. Number one, kailangan mag stand out ka. When you look for a job, you have to be able to stand out. Because if you're not going to be able to stand out, then I think you'll just be part of the crowd. You'll be one of the next next applicant na wala lang, na hindi mapapansin. Another thing that should be in your checklist is that you should only have one file. Hindi dapat maraming files na iba-iba sinesend sa mga companies. Mas maganda, isang file lang para pag sinend mo, lahat ng details mo nandoon na. Another thing in your checklist is that it should make the process more efficient. Ibig sabihin, mas mabilis mag-submit, mas mabilis makita ng HR, at mas mabilis kayo makontak for possible next steps na or possible job offer na. Now, another thing in my checklist is that dapat tipid ito, wala tong gastos. The tool that I will show you today, wala itong gastos. Libre po ito. At higit sa lahat, itong pinaka-importante sa lahat. This should be in your checklist. The tool should be secured. Okay, more than anything, importante talaga ang data. Pero ang data ninyo dapat yung protectionan. And using this tool, this is the most secured resume kung tawagin. Bakit siya tinawag na most secured resume? Let me go through the next slides na. Okay? Ito ang tinatawag na resume link. Okay? A personalized URL for anyone can open online anytime. I will use an example para makarelate kayo. If you are John Santos, ang link mo or resume link mo, pwede maging johnsantos.jobs180.com. Ganun lang kasimple. At yan na po ang resume link nyo. So how do you make one? Go with me through the three simple steps. First step is you have to register. Absolutely, wala tong bayad. Libre po ito. How do you register? You go to the website of jobs180.com. That's www.jobs180.com. 180.com at doon ka mag-register on the upper right side of your screen. Now, as you do that, you have to put the basic information. Okay? So, alam nyo na ano mga information yan. Hindi ko na isa-isayin. Bababasa nyo naman at alam nyo naman ano dapat ilagay. Now, as you create your account, you have to use a valid email. Okay? Now, before we go to the email, paalala ko lang, sa mga nag-isip sa inyo, paano kung hindi ako si John Santos, ano gagawin kong resume link? O yan, baka nag-isip kayo eh. So, if ever lang, Meron kang kapangalan. Okay? Just so happen na may ibang John Santos na nauna sa inyo, ano mangyayari? Magkakaroon doon na red na box na sabihin niya, this name has already been taken. Huwag kayong malungkot. Pag taken na, okay lang. Just be creative. Pwede mo gawin, balik rin mo. Gawin mo santosjohn.jobs180.com o kaya J Santos o kaya Santos J o kaya JS o kaya SJ. Depende kung ano gusto mo gawin. Basta importante, wala kang kapangalan. Okay? Wala kang kapareho. Now, when you do this, wag kayong OA. Do not create yung mga over, ganong klasing uh, over creative na mga resume link because it doesn't look professional. Imagine submitting to a company with your resume link that says eljablo.jobs180.com. Hindi yan mukhang professional. Okay? Now, when you register, please use a valid email. Ito yung emphasis ko lang sa pag-create nyo ng account na dapat gamitin yung email, yung nabubuksan yung email, kagaya ng Gmail, Yahoo, or any email na nabubuksan nyo. Do not create, example lang ha, yung mga email na kagaya ng ganito, patricia at facebook.com na email. Huwag kang gagamit ng joseph at facebook.com na email to register. In short, huwag mong gagamitin yung at facebook.com na email. Because if you use at facebook.com na email, you will no longer be able to receive notification being sent to you by the companies as well as jobs180.com. Importante po na nabubuksan nyo yung email nyo kasi kailangan mo i-verify yung account mo. Okay? It is very important that you verify your account as a proof na ikaw nag-register at pangalawa para ikaw yung makapag-apply. If you don't do this, if you don't verify, walang mangyayari sa account nyo. Okay? So sayang lang. So you have to verify to finish the first step. Okay? How do you verify? Just open your email, look for the link, click mo yung verify, you're done with the first step. Okay? Tapos na yung first step. Ano yung first step? Register. Wala tong bayad. Let's go to the second step. Ang second step, ang pinaka-logical sa lahat. Kailangan kompletong detalye nyo. So how do you do that? You go back again to your account by going to the website of jobs180.com. This time, hindi mo kailangan mag-register. Ang gagawin mo, mag-login. Pag-login mo, lagay mo dito yung email nyo or resume link nyo. Kayo, kayo lang may alam yan. At lalo na yung password nyo na kayo lang talaga may alam yan. So when you do that, you now go inside your account. Pag nasa loob na kina-account nyo, ano gagawin nyo? Mabilis na lang ito. Fill in the blanks. Okay? Now, I don't have to go through all the information here because definitely, alam mo naman pag sinabi ditong name, eh malamang pangalan nyo. Pag nakalagay dito address, eh malamang address nyo. Diba? So, you put all the information ninyo dito. Okay? Lagay nyo. Then, what else do you put in here? 
importante po lagay dito lahat ng posibleng paraan na pwede ka makontak ng isang HR, kagaya ng social media account nyo. Diba? Hindi lang email tsaka phone number. Bakit? Most of the time, ano nangyayari? Okay, let me tell you. Marami sa inyo nilalagay nyo phone number nyo. Pero pag tinatawagan kayo ng HR, hindi nyo siya nasagot, lalo na pag hindi mo kilala. Hala, sino kaya ito? Hindi mo sasagutin. Diba? Kasi takot kayo, baka nagsascam or whoever yung tumatawag. So, ano mangyayari sa mga HR? mag email kami ngayon sa inyo. But you don't open email more often that you open your social media account. So, I recommend lahat ng posibleng paraan na pwede ka makontak na isang HR, ilagay mo dito. Kagaya ng mga Facebook nyo or Twitter nyo para mabilis ay makapag-PM. Private message, makapag-invite for the next step. Okay? What else do you put here? You also put here your work uh, options, yung mga work uh, experience nyo. Pagating po sa work options, you can see on the screen, you have four options na pwede nyo pagpilian. Parang switch lang yan. Yes, no, yes, no, switch. On, off, on, off, switch. So, you can choose here, example, looking for OJT, lagay mo yes if you're looking for OJT right now. And later on, pag hindi na, turn it off. Hindi lagay mo na no. Diba? So, depende yan kung anong mas trip nyo or anong mas pasok dun sa hinahanap nyo right now. What the system will do is it will try to match you with companies who are also looking for the same profile with what you have. Yan yung kagandahan ng tool natin. Hindi mo ka lang mag-door-to-door -door para mag-submit ng resume link ninyo. Okay? What else do you put here? You put here your school under education. Even later on, okay, pagka-graduate nyo, you can also put here your schools. Yung mga nag-take pa kayo ng further studies, pwede mo rin ilagay dito. Okay? So walang limit sa space yan. Pagdating ko sa seminars attended, ganun din. Kahit gano'ng karami, pwede nyo ilagay dito. Kahit magkopyahan pa kayo, just make sure lang alam mo yung seminar na yun. Kahit baka matanong ka sa interview. Pagdating po sa certification, ganun din. Put all the certification programs that you've had, you put it here. Okay? When it comes to the achievement, do not limit your achievement only inside the school. Hindi lahat na nakikinig ngayon ay Dean's Lister. Hindi kayo lahat dito ay honor student. Diba? Ayan, nag-agree marami sa inyo. So, hindi lang po ang achievement nakabase sa academic excellence. Some of you are student leaders. So, if you're active sa school, you also put it here kung ano yung mga pinagkakaabalahan nyo. And hindi lang sa loob ng school, even outside the school. If you're active in your barangay, halimbawa, isa kang tanod, ilagay mo dyan. Diba? Yan yung mga achievement ninyo. So, you put it here. Bakit? Because what you're doing now is you're trying to market yourself more effectively to that prospective company. Okay? Now, when it comes to the skills and languages, ito yung common observation namin mga HR. Pagdating sa skills, nilalagay mo lang na skills yung mga umiikot lang sa course nyo. Hindi porkat communication arts ang course mo, com arts lang ang skills na alam mo. Hindi porkat engineering ang course mo, ang alam mo lang na skill ay pang engineering. Hindi porkat tourism or HRM ang course mo, ang alam mo lang na skill ay pang tourism at pang HRM. Maybe some of you are into multimedia, into photography, into videography into something else, arts, crafts, whatever. Lahat ng yan, skills nyo yan. Remember, what you're doing here is you're marketing yourself more effectively. Kaya kung ako sa inyo, ilagay mo dito lahat ng skills na alam ninyo. Pagdating po sa languages, ganun din. Huwag mong ilimit yan sa dalawang lengguahe lang. Because I'm sure alam nyo yung dalawa. Kung dalawa lang talaga alam nyo, din dalawa lang. Ano tong dalawang to? English and Tagalog or Filipino. Okay? Now, if you know other local dialect, Bisaya, Kapampangan, Sabacano, Ilonggo, you can also put it here. If you know foreign languages, German, French, Chinese, Japanese, diba, Korean, pwede mo ilagay dyan. Okay? Walang limit sa space yan. When it comes to the references, sigurado ko yung mga references nyo, kilala nyo. Ang malaking tanong dito, eh, kayo ba'y kilala nila? Sana oo, di ba? Kasi madalas pag tumatawag kami sa mga references nyo, hindi kayo maalala. So please tell them, ginawa nyo silang reference para at least they know what to tell about you. Okay? Now at this point, to make your life easier, kung sakali lang nakagawa ka na ng resume nyo in your Word file or or maybe in your uh, doc file, depende kung anong file nyo, uh, uh, PDF file, whatever file you have, kung nakagawa ka na ng resume nyo, simple na lang. Just copy all the information inside dito. No, ilagay mo sa loob ng resume link. Just transfer them here inside the resume link para maging secured yung data nyo. Okay? Kung bakit secured, I'll tell you as we go along. Okay? So, yung mga sinabi ko, I think alam nyo na yan. Alam nyo na yan. Okay? Itong mga susunod kong papakita, ito yung mga amazing na portion. Let me start with the portfolio section. Ano yung portfolio section? This is the part where you now upload evidence of your skills. Example, ano yung evidence na graduate na kayo later on? Diploma. Diba? Transcript. Ano pa? Toga, hindi grad, hindi ebidensya yung toga, okay? <laughs> kung ano man meron nyo, di ba? Certificate, diploma, yan, ebidensya yan, okay? Kung um, transcript of records is evidence na graduate na kayo. Ano ebidensya na wala kayong criminal record? NBA clearance, police clearance, di ba? Ano ebidensya na pwede ka pumunta sa ibang bansa? 
passport, visa, lahat ng mga sinasabi mong mga skills mo or yung mga what, what you're claiming that, that you know, you can now support them here sa portfolio section by showing those documents. Diba? Anong ebidensya na ikaw ay healthy? Meron kang medical clearance. Anong ebidensya na pwede kang mag-drive ng sasakyan? Meron kang driver's license. Diba? So, gets nyo na yung sinasabi ko. Ang point ko lang is, you can now put the things here to support yung claim nyo of your skills. Now, you're starting to think, Sir, kung pare-pareho naman kami graduate sa school namin, eh pare-pareho kami magkakaklase, same yung course namin, same yung school, same yung teachers, same yung curriculum, pare-pareho lang naman kami lahat, walang experience sa trabaho, how will we stand out? Ayan, di ba? Okay. Ito ngayon yung isang magandang recommendation ko sa inyo on how you now stand out. You get your smartphones. Kunin mo yung mga smartphones nyo kung wala, manghiram sa kaibigan. Okay, hiram mo sa kaibigan mo. I-record mo yung selfie video mo. You say something interesting about yourself. Record it in about 30 seconds to 1 minute lang. Huwag na masyadong mahaba. Ano gagawin mo? Pretend that you are being interviewed by the HR. So you answer basic questions like, tell me something about yourself. O di ba? Ano yung mga gasgas sa tanong natin? Uh, why should we hire you? O di ba? Just, just imagine na tinanong ka ng HR at sasagutin mo na lang siya. Ang maganda lang ngayon, recorded mo. So kung di mo type yung sagot, edi eh, edilit mo. Pag type mo, you save it. Then you upload it sa YouTube or sa Vimeo. Maraming mga video channel na libre, mga video converter sa online. Hanapin mo lang. And when you're done, you put that video link doon sa portfolio section nyo. O di ba? This time, it will definitely make you stand out because depending na to sa discarte mo on how you're going to present yourself. Okay? So I leave it up to you on how you do that. Now, another thing for you to do, na sure akong hindi to makokope ng classmate mo, ay yung picture mo. Diba? So you put your profile picture here. Now, when it comes to the picture, hindi kailangan sobrang formal na formal. Hindi kailangan pumunta sa studio. Huwag na kayo gumastos. Ang importante dito, tumingin kayo sa camera. Plain background. Okay? Plain background, tumingin kayo sa camera. Wear something, of course. Wear something decent. Okay? Do not upload profile pictures that look like the right side of your screen. Yung mga sample na yan, hindi po maganda yung sample yan. Okay? So, okay, maglagi na maganong kasi mga sample na profile picture. Now, another good thing pa that uh, will make you stand out using the resume link is your cover photo. Yes! A picture paints a thousand words. Yan ang kasabihan na very, very applicable dito. A lot of you who are listening today, hindi kayo gifted with writing skills. Hirap kayo express ang inyong feelings at inyong thoughts into words. Hindi mo ma-type, hindi mo ma-sulat. Tama? Hirap tayo eh. Bakit? Hindi natural, natural sa atin yan. Pero pagdating sa picture, kayang-kaya mo i-express yung inyong personality. Look at the examples I'm showing you. Look at the one on the left. Ano siya? Isa siyang ophthalmologist or optometrist. Sabi naman ng iba, eye expert. Di ba? Inasa kanan. Ano siya? Sabi ni iba, sir, parang IT. Sir, tech. Teki siguro kasi maraming gadget, pati stapler, gadget niya. Diba? Halimbawa, o sabi ni iba naman, sir, parang makalat. O depende na kung how you are going to interpret it. But now, the way I see it, itong taong to, multitasker. Okay? Another good example I'm showing you is this one. Someone from psychology, someone from neuro neurologies, or maybe someone who knows left and right. Ganun lang kasimple. No? So, depende yan how you're going to express yourself. Okay? Another good example pa, ito. Itong person na to, ang gusto niya sabihin, there's no shortcut to success. You will be able to reach your goal by taking one step at a time. O, di ba? So, I'm showing you good examples. Hindi yan member na akit bahay gang. Hindi rin po yan social climber, in case that's what you're thinking. So, kung nagpakita ko ng magaganda example, I will also show you yung mga hindi magandang example para wag niyong gagayahin. Huwag kayo magpapaka-misteryoso. Okay? Make sure you put your picture there. Okay? Kasi maraming pangalan ngayon, interchangeable. Ako mismo, guilty ako dyan. My name is Kim. A lot of people think babae ako. Ako rin mismo, napagkakamala ko yung mga aplikante, panakita ko. Chris, George, Alex, Sam. O ba? Diba? Minsan isipin ko, uh, Joey, uh, lalaki. Yung pala, babae. ba? Diba? So you better put your picture there para at least alam ng HR who to expect. Okay? Now, when you make your resume link, dapat may laman talaga yan. Kasi kung walang laman yan, ganyan itsura niyan. Blanco. And how do you expect companies will look, or HR from companies will look at your profile if you submit to them resume links that look like this? It's like submitting a piece of a, a paper, bond paper, or you know, long bond paper, short bond paper, na walang laman except pangalan mo. And that's, that's the same as this one. So hindi yan papansin ng mga HR for sure. Okay? Sayang lang oras nyo tsaka oras ng HR. Kailangan attractive. Okay? When, it's, when I say attractive or catchy, do not overdo it naman. Now, this is just in my opinion. Ha? In my opinion, I think this one is not a good example. Kasi ang dating niya parang tamad, parang happy-go-lucky, parang chill-chill lang, no? parang ganun na dating. So, 
I, I leave it up to you on how you'll be, you know, ex- expressing yourself na dito. Okay? So, sa mga personality nyo. Alam nyo na, anong dapat nyo gawin at hindi nyo dapat gawin. So, showing a, a very good example is uh, si I expert. Tignan mo, lahat ng detalye niya, kompleto. Everything from top to bottom, kompleto lahat ng details, including yung kanyang mga portfolio section na nagpapatunay na siya isang licensed ophthalmologist. Pinakita niya lahat ng mga posibleng hingiin pa sa kanya ng mga HR. So bakit ko sinabi sa inyo na papabilis yung buhay dito? Hindi lang buhay nyo. Pati buhay din ng HR na papabilis. Because once you submit all this information to that company, when the HR opens your resume link and sees everything about you, dalawa lang ang pwede mangyari niyan. One is, nahuli mo attention, gusto kanya niya ngayon kausapin or schedule for the next step, like interview or possibly job offer, or hindi ka nag-fit. Yun yung second, di ba? Para at least, ang maganda rito, hindi na pabalik-balik, hindi na siya tatawag para sabihin, Hello ma'am, meron ka bang evidence na graduate ka na talaga sa school na yan? Can you send me your transcript? Di ba? Can you, can, you, can you send me yung mga evidence or yung mga, mga sample skills or sample work mo? Kasi you are in IT, you are in graphic design, di ba? Gansi mo ibig ko sabihin, huwag nang pabalik-balik, sayang yung oras. Okay? Time is of the essence, lalo na ngayon. So you put everything there, at least pag nakita ng HR, diretso na kagad sa pag-process, pag-process sa inyo. Okay? A lot of you are now thinking, Sir, pag gumawa ako ng resume link at nilagay ko lahat ng information ko dyan, baka naman yung mga data ko nakakalat na sa buong mundo. Baka naman yung mga information ko nakalantad na sa buong internet. The answer is, no. Kaya nga siya tinawag na the most secured resume. Okay? Bakit siya tinawag na most secured resume? Because you have the ultimate control over your privacy settings. Follow the screen. Inside your dashboard, when you log in, you can go to your settings. Sa settings mo, to be specific, puntahan mo yung privacy settings. In your privacy settings, you choose the information that you want to show in public. Halimbawa lang, ha, you do not want to show your birthday. What do you do? Turn it off. Ayaw mo pakita yung address mo. What do you do? Turn it off. Ay mo pakita ang inyong references. What do you do? Turn it off. So lahat na naka-off, hindi lalabas sa public. At sino may control niyan? Kayo lang. O ba? Ang maganda pa rito, real-time update yan. Halimbawa, today, you decide not to show your birthday, your address, and references. And then five minutes later, you decide, ah, sige, pakita ko na nga birthday ko. Turn it on. Real-time, five minutes later, the moment you save your settings, lahat na binigyan mo ng resume link, updated na sila, real-time. As in real time. Diba? Ayos, diba? Oh, sige, tuloy natin. Tuloy pa natin to. So, reminders ko na lang sa mga late na dumating or kakakinig lang, when you make your resume link, make sure that your profile is interesting and attractive. Okay? Wag OA. Iba yung o- o- over naman yun. No? Wag naman ganun. So, make sure it's attractive, it's catchy. Complete all the information, especially your contact details. Kasi sayang naman lahat ng ginawa mo, nahuli mo attention, hindi ka makontak ng HR. So better make sure nandiyan yung mga contact details na updated. Okay? So yan. So tapos na tayo sa two steps. Last step na lang. Ano yung first step? Recap lang. First step is register. Wala tong bayad. Libre po yan. Second step is for you to complete the information. Yan ang pinaka-logical. And the last step now is for you to submit. So you're now thinking, okay to ah. Paano ko gagamitin ngayon yung resume link? Oh, bigyan kita ng iba-ibang paraan. Okay, lahat ito practical application para makarelate kayo. Unang option, pumunta ka sa website ng jobs180.com. That's www.jobs180.com and that's where you now start to look for companies. Type the companies that you're looking for. Pag may lumabas, edi good. Pag walang lumabas, edi wala. Okay, huwag din pilitin. Okay? Now, you can also see there a lot of companies. The, a lot of company logos that you can shop around, you can choose, learn about the company, and if you want to be part of the company, I recommend you submit your resume link kahit na hindi ka pa qualified. Let me repeat what I just said. If you want to be part of an organization, if you want to be part of that company, even if you are not yet qualified, I recommend you give your resume link to that company. Bakit? Imagine, kung ngayong, kung ngayong hapon, nag-submit ka ng, ngayong araw, nag-submit ka ng resume link sa isang kumpanya na nagahanap ng 3 years experience na, na aplikante. Wala ka pang 3 years experience. Okay lang. Because nabigay mo na yung resume link mo sa kanya, pagdating ng 2024, siguro naman by that time, meron ka ng 3 years experience, di ba? Kasi nag-work ka na ngayon, may 2021. By 2024, may 3 years experience ka na, 
pwede ka na ma-qualify doon sa position na inaplayan mo. And you never know. That company might just contact you later on, provided that your details are still updated. So you have to update those information real time. Ayos ba? Ayos, di ba? Wala nang pabalik-balik. Hindi mo na kailangan magbalik-balik doon sa kompanya para sabihin, nag-apply po ko sa inyo last year. Ako po yung OJT nyo three months ago. Wala nang ganun. Okay? Another practical application. When you submit your resumes through email, how do you do that? Madalas, ito ginagawa natin. Mag-email tayo sa sabihin natin, Dear HR Manager, I would like to apply for the following position. And this is my resume. Ano gagawin nyo? I-attach mo yung Word file mo or PDF file mo. Tama? If that is how you're doing it, wag mo nang gawin yon. Huwag ka na mag-attach ng anything sa email. Pampabagal lang yan, tsaka makaluma na yung style na yan. Bakit ko sinabi yon? Kasi hindi mo na kailangan talaga mag-attach ng anything. Ang gagawin mo, i-type mo na lang doon sa email mo, yung resume link mo. Example, DH Manager, I would like to apply for the following position. And this is my resume. In this example, Antonio Juan de la Cruz, 01.jobs180.com. That's it. Submit. I look forward to your information. Thank you. Send. Every time meron kang babaguhin sa details mo, hindi mo na kailangan padalhan yung HR. Kasi kung ginagamit mo mga attachment, ang kulit niyan eh. Ang kulit, saka nakapagod. Ano gagawin mo pag nagbago ka ng phone number? Dear HR Manager, this is now my updated resume. Mamaya-maya, two weeks later, nagpalit ka ng phone number. Ano gagawin mo? Dear HR Manager, this is now my updated most recent resume. O ba? Every time meron kang babaguhin, padala ka na padala doon sa HR. Nakapagod yan, hindi lang sa part nyo, kundi sa part din namin sa mga HR to keep track which one yung pinaka-updated na details. So this time, wala na kailangan. Palit-palit na lang kayo ng details nyo. Update-update na lang sa loob ng resume link. Ayos ba? Ayos pa. Okay, tuloy pa natin to. Okay? If you want to print your resume, this is now the good news. You can now print your resume link. No matter how much information you have, the system will try to compress everything into one page. So kung gusto mo talaga mag-print ng papel at mag-submit sa mga kumpanya, walang kaso. Pumunta ka lang sa dashboard mo, hanapin mo yung print na option at mamili ka kung one column or two column version ang gusto mo i-print. What the system will do is it will try to compress everything into one page para tipid na. O, ba? Now, usapang tipid. Ito mas tipid pa. Gusto mo mag-print ng resume pero gusto mo magtipid. Etong gawin mo. Gumawa ka ng resume link card. Ano tong resume link card? Sa isang pirasong long bun or short bun paper, mag-design ka ng maraming resume link card. No, maliliit lang, parang business card ng dating. In one piece of paper, I think you can make 10, 20 sets of cards. Depende sa size ng papel mo. At ang importante na ilagay mo dyan sa resume link card mo ay syempre ang inyong resume link. ba? So hindi mo na kailangan ilagay lahat ng details mo sa resume sa loob ng maliit na papel. Lagay mo lang resume link mo. And that is what you now give to the companies when you start applying. Uh, look at the picture I'm showing you. ba? Tipid. Hindi lang tipid. Secured pa. Tingnan nyo. If you submit yung big paper resume nyo, long band paper, submit mo sa isang kumpanya, nag-apply ka, for some reason, nilipad ng hangin. Yung nakapulot ng papel na yan, alam na buong detalye mo because everything is in that one-page printout. Now, if you lose that small piece of paper, don't worry. Meron kang peace of mind. Bakit? Yung mga kapulot niyan, limited sa privacy settings mo because you have the ultimate control over your privacy settings kahit na i-type niya yan sa browser. Okay? So, ang recommend ko rin sa mga nakikinig, use the gadget. Take advantage of the technology. Use your gadget, your, your laptop, your, your cell phone, your tablet, kung ano man. Okay? Para ngayon kasi, this day and age, technology na ang gamitin natin. Kung mano-mano pa rin kayo, wala kayong gadget, okay lang. Huwag kayong kayo malungkot. You can still submit to the companies by just simply writing the resume link on a piece of paper. As simple as that. Okay? So, again, sa mga nagtatanong, how can I, ano yung mga guidelines ko para makagawa ako ng job-winning resume? Ito yung guideline ko. Ito yung checklist ko. Are you using the right tool? That's the ultimate question. There are so many tools right now, but these are the things that you should consider when you make your resume. And that is the resume link. It already addresses the following. Number one, security na information mo. I hope by this time, you have peace of mind. Ito na ang pinaka-secure na information because you have the ultimate control over your privacy setting. Pangalawa, the speed of hire becomes faster. It becomes more efficient because whatever you need, whatever the HR needs, you can already put it inside the resume link. Another thing is that it's flexible. If you want to print, just in case lang, gusto mo talaga mag-print ng resume nyo, you have the option to print it. 
And you don't have to worry about saan ko sinave yung file na yan, saan ko tinago, wala nang ganun. Just log into your account and print. Mamili ka lang kung one column or two column version. At higit sa lahat, wala po itong bayad. Tipid po ito. Walang bayad. Okay? Ang kailangan mo lang, of course, internet. Sa mga nag-iisip sa inyo, eh sir, kailangan ko ng pan-data. Pwede ka naman makakonek sa internet na walang data eh. Punta ka sa libreng wifi. Di ba? Baka yung kapitbahay nyo may libreng wifi. Oh, makagamit ka muna. Later on, pag may trabaho ka na, may sweldo na, bayaran mo yung wifi niya. O di ba? Bawi-bawi lang yan. No? Give and take. And there are a lot more benefits to, to just what I've mentioned. Marami pang iba. You can share your resume link to whatever platform you want to share it to. Gusto mo i-text? Gusto mo siya i-private message? Gusto mo i-send via Viber? Kayo bahala. Pwede mo i-share. Basta kayo may control. Ganun lang kasimple. No? Kung hindi mo ito binigay sa kahit kanino, hindi malalaman to nung taong yon. And you don't have to save it to whatever uh, USBs or hard drive. No need na. Wala rin tong mga tipong version na kailangan pa mag-compatible, compatible. Walang ganun. Lahat ito compatible. Pwede lahat. Okay? So, shout out na ako. Shout out to all, all our school partners. By the grace of God, right now, we have about 400 plus colleges and university partners nationwide, including your alma mater. So, thank you. We're very thankful for this opportunity that we're able to do this kahit tayo nasa loob ng bahay. Kahit kayo ay nasa loob ng bahay. So, hindi tayo physically na, 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 nag-represent, pero nakakatulong pa rin tayo. Especially if you have friends or relatives who do you, whom you think would need this tool, please share this to them. Okay? Sa so, mga nagtatanong naman ng mga frequently asked questions, sasagutin ko na. Ito kasi yung mga common questions na kadalasan tinatanong sa akin. Ang tanong, can I give my resume link to companies who do not know about jobs180.com? The answer is absolutely yes. It depends kung sino ang bibigyan mo. Ikaw may ultimate control niyan. Okay? Pangalawang question. Is this the same as other job uh, platform like LinkedIn, Job Street, iba pang mga job site? The answer is no. Meron tong dalawang major difference. Yes. Lalo na pagdating sa security. Okay. Of uh, course, explain lang ako ha. Okay. With respect to the other sites that I've mentioned, let me just use Job Street as an example para lang mas makarelate, no? Para makarelate. You can only use Job Street resume if you're applying to companies who are also using Job Street. If you're applying to a company who is not using Job Street, you cannot use your Job Street resume anymore. With your resume link, you can use this to any type of company, any platform, wherever they are. Kahit sa loob ng Pilipinas or sa labas ng Pilipinas, pwede mong applyan. Kahit hindi niya alam ang Jobs on 80, basta alam niya ang resume link mo, pwede niya mabuksan ang profile at makita according to your settings. That's the first difference. Pangalawang difference, kung nabigay mo na, kung naisubmit mo na ang job street resume mo sa isang company, wala ka nang pwedeng baguhin. Lahat ng data mo nandun na yan sa HR. Yes. Hindi na magbabago yan real time. With your resume link, nasubmit mo today, mali pala number mo, nasubmit mo today, mali pala yung spelling mo, you can always edit it, enter, save it, real time update. Lahat ng bigyan mo ng resume link updated real time. Ayos? Okay, tuloy tayo sa number three question. Number three question is the easiest question. Ang tanong dito is, can I keep my information secured? I hope by this time, na-convince ko na kayo na ito na ang pinaka-secured na platform. Okay? That's the reason why I'm sharing this to you. Okay? Number four, I think this is the most important question. How often should you update your resume link? Ang sagot dito, hindi araw-araw, hindi linggo-linggo, hindi buwan-buwan, hindi taon-taon. Ang sagot dito ay every time. Every time na meron kayong babaguhin, lalo na ang contact details nyo. Yan ang importante. You have to update your contact details every time na meron kayong papalitan doon. Kasi yan yung paraan para makontak kayo ng mga companies. And the last question is just a trivia. Why is this called jobs180.com? This is called jobs180.com because we want to turn your life around. Yan, di ba? 180 degrees. Hindi siya 360. Kasi kung 360, bumalik ka lang kung saan ka galing. E di balik, balik ka lang, balik, balik ka lang, balik, balik ka lang. Di wala nangyari. Di ba? So you have to do it 180 degrees. It's a straight line towards your career goal. Okay? Just in case may tanong pa kayo, nahiya magtanong, pumunta lang kayo sa website namin, sa jobs180.com, or email us, email me. Here, sa info at jobs180.com, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, follow us on Instagram para makakuha kayo ng mga latest trends in recruitment. Okay, again, my name is Kim Chu Wa. Don't forget yung Wa. Okay, baka Kim Chu lang maalala nyo na nagsasabing be safe at isang magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. Thank you. Alright, so thank you for that, Sir Kim. Um, okay, guys, do you have questions para pwede nating sagutin?
Alright, sige. So, ayan. So, habang nag-iisip kayo ng tanong, ayan. So, I would like to um reiterate some reminders. So, pag gumagawa po tayo ng account sa jobs180.com, please use an active email account. So, it's, it, can be, it can either be a Gmail account or a Yahoo account. Please avoid using your school email address yung ginagamit nyo sa school kasi pag nag-graduate na kayo, hindi nyo na magagamit nyo siya active. Okay? So, kailangan yung ginagamit natin yung personal natin yung totoong Gmail or Yahoo account natin. Alright? Sige. So, for further questions later, pwede pa rin kayong mag-type. Pero let's go to our second speaker. So, our second speaker is Ms. Tiffany May Agdepa. She is an HR generalist from Direct Business Technologies. Ms. Tiffany is a graduate of Bachelor's of Science in Psychology from PUP Manila, who is now growing as an HR generalist, both in the computer software and restaurant industries. So, Ms. Tiffany, if you're there, please join our stream po. Hi. Good morning, ma'am. Hello, good morning. hi. Good morning. Ayan. Ma'am, um, we are live at Chiang Kai-shek College, Manila. So, our audience comprised of students from um, BSPA. We have people in HRM, marketing, um, business management. Hanapin ko ba iba? Accountants. Yeah, ayan. Marketing management. Yan yung mga courses nila, ma'am. So, ma'am, mm -hmm. um, can you test share your screen po? Okay. Sige, for a while. And guys, if you have questions for Miss Tiffany later, yeah, so please comment nyo lang doon sa ating chat, comment box, so comment section para mabasa namin later tapos i-address namin. Okay? There. Um, yeah. Loading na po siya, ma'am. Okay, okay. ma'am. So you have 20 minutes. Tapos po, mm -hmm. if meron pong error sa connection or error po sa slides natin, I will interject lang po. And then, mm -hmm. yun ma'am, the floor is yours. I'll be back po for the Q&A. Thank you. All right. Thanks for that, Ms. Shari. Okay, sige. So, um, uh, hi, I'm Tiffany, and I'll be uh, discussing regarding about virtual interviews and some tips about dressing up and, of course, answering questions, right? No? But um, before I go there, I would just like to quickly introduce our company. So, we are Direct Business Technologies. So, uh, Direct is an IT industry. Uh, we've been in the IT industry na, uh, for nine years already and going 10 this year so um, we are an it business solutions company and um here so this is who we are no so there and we provide um uh, enterprise resource planning uh, customer relationship management it and security hris and payroll solutions no to uh, our clients so mainly our clients are smes so small to medium enterprises and um what sets us apart from the other um industries or it uh, companies in the industries are our solutions focused, value based pricing, technical excellence, customer commitment and support, uh, strategic technology roadmap, and all of it for an affordable price. And as I've mentioned, um, excellent customer service as well. So just a quick run through, uh, lang ren no regarding our um, uh, services uh, here. So here are some. So to start, uh, the ERP solution. So if you're not yet familiar with that one, uh, ERP is all your department needs in one solution. So from having a centralized database for all your departments to simplify it and diminish the tedious manual labor. No? So from the accounting, inventory, modules, all of those are enclosed in our ERP solutions that we offer. And then another is our um, IT solutions. So including na dito yung mga security and endpoint protection to protect, uh, of course, yung mga confidential data ng mga companies, no? And then, uh, including na rin dito yung mga hardware, like CCTV and cabling. And then, another is yung payroll solutions that we offer, or the HRIS. So, this is for the people management, and this is used to lessen uh, the manual workload as well as in the HR setting and in the payroll processing, which can be very tedious talaga if it is done manually. Now, for um, complementary solutions naman, um, this is custom-made software solutions fit for specific needs ng company that runs exactly how the way the company wants it to run, no? And then uh, another, our CRM solution. So this is regarding customer relations. So all related to that and uh, the management of it. So it's the heart of every business naman. Uh, this is the heart because of every business that provides services or to um, clients uh, like our company then. And then lastly, regarding cloud solutions naman. So if you're familiar with um, iCloud, like for Apple, no? so that's the most basic one kasi. But basically, yun yung idea behind this. So, um, 
this is for more large scale of course customers and much more encrypted as to um yung sa iCloud ganun. So to lessen that in paperwork and incre increase uh, security when it comes to data management. Now, um there, that's a quick overview lang of our company and what we offer, no. So if uh you um there Okay, and then this is some of our clients lang. So I'm just going to run through lang din quickly regarding this. So if you could see there, may mga big names na rin dyan, like um, Sagu, Word Balance, Domino's, um, Shawarma Shack, there, uh, Monde, uh, Davies, uh, Mineski, and JNT Express. So if you're familiar with those um, businesses or brands, we cater to those uh, companies, no? So that's uh, some of our clients. So if you would like to know more about us, you can just visit our website or our um, company profile in Jobs on 80 since we have done the, we have that din naman as well, no? So Ms. Sherry, Sherry uh, will provide that din naman. And then if you want to visit lang some of our socials as well, this is our Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and uh, Twitter. Okay, so um, going back to my topic now, so I'm going to start now regarding uh, my actual topic. So it's all about virtual interviews and tips on dressing up and answering interview questions now. So and nowadays that uh, we've adapted to the new normal already, uh, the traditional interview setting, which is the physical face-to-face, -face, is um, long gone now. So instead of um, practicing to give a firm handshake or like eye contact and also um, making your presence known in the room, so all of those kasi are gone na rin, no? Not necessarily gone, but you can still use it. Pero it's uh, not really that applicable na in the virtual setting. Of course, the eye contact naman can be. But um, so I, I'm going to discuss here some other ways uh, to get the attention of your potential employers. And to set, uh, and to start with that, I'm going to um, share how you could professionally present yourselves uh, even if it's just uh, virtually no so to start uh, the first thing that we'll tackle about is uh, your attire during an online interview no? so how do you professionally present yourself Naba, during a person uh, um, virtual interview no so um, now i don't uh, have a lot to say about this but my only advice is for you to dress up comfortably and of course as mentioned by sir kim Kanina, a uh, decent, no, uh, smart. So think of it as something that you wear during your uh, thesis defense or anything like that. Na parang similar to school before. So anything that you're comfortable in wearing. Because of course, if you're not comfortable with your wearing, uh, it, it'll show. Kahit virtual lang yan, it'll show pa rin talaga eventually, no. So um, and then second, go on a full attire as to para maramdaman mo that you're currently uh, to to. This is real. Ganun, this is really happening. So this is not just a practice or whatsoever. You're going to talk talaga with an employer uh, just like on a normal interview process or kung ano man yung naturo before traditionally no, na going ka dun sa office. But this time, you're just going inside the platform that will be provided to you. No? So dito kasi indirect, uh, what we use is... Um, uh, if you're familiar with the platform of Microsoft Teams, so dun kami nag engage ng mga virtual interviews namin. So before you enter the platform, just make sure na I'm confident kayo with what you're wearing from head to toe, you're dressed up kasi you'll never know. Baka mamaya top lang yung suot mo and then yun pala um, need mo tumayo or parang may kailangan kang kunin tapos wala kang pambaba, but it's kind of embarrassing. So yun. And then... Um, that's it. Yun lang po talaga yung pinaka ano ko, for dressing up. No? Now, I'm going to um, tackle more on how you could professionally um, parang present yourself. No? So, here. So, these are some of uh, the tips that I could share you there. So, as as this slide says, no, first impressions count. So, it doesn't uh, it doesn't mean lang naman pag physical na face-to-face. -face, no? So, even virtually, um, as soon as your first interaction with the employer, make sure that you always put your best foot forward. So, um, there. The first one is arrive on time and be accommodating. No? So, uh, meaning, uh, if the interview 
interviewer sets the interview at around, let's say, 1.30, be in the platform at around 1.20 or 10 minutes earlier than what was mentioned, no? And test your cam and audio before it starts. So better, no? Kasi usually dito in, in direct, um, we usually send the meeting link or the platform that we'll be utilizing like uh, a day before the interview. So usually, pag ganun, as you, as an uh, applicant, no? You could try it naman na right on na pagka-receive mo ng email is ay to try mo na kagad kung nag-work ba, ganun, ganyan. Instead of uh, trying it on the day, baka agad kasi baka mamaya may technical difficulties pala which could be avoided if you um parang nag-try ka or you parang open it na a day before, no? And then another, be accommodating in a sense that you should make them feel that you're uh, enthusiastic about the position you're applying for uh, there. Okay, and then second is always answer emails and of course explain no. So just a simple acknowledgement will do naman when you receive the first email invite or if you would want to um uh, withdraw your application instead of just ghosting um the interviewer on the day of the interview itself na, na hindi ka attend on. Uh, why are you not? Uh, send an email, no? Kasi email na nga lang. You're just going to type. Hindi mo na kailangan tumawag or whatsoever. It's uh, more convenient na rin on your end. So ano ba naman yung, uh, you'll explain to them, why are you going to withdraw your application? Kasi baka mamaya, yung reason mo naman pala is mabigyan nila ng solution, di ba? So at least you're, you're more open with each other. And also, if you would want to pursue your application with them, at least uh, maganda yung impression mo sa kanila kasi uh, you explain, even if yung first time mo is nag-withdraw ka, or you rejected an offer, at least you explain, no? So, kung magpapursue ka sa kanila in the future, uh, at least you left a good impression with them. So, there. And then, third one is, this is quite often um, overlooked then kasi as well by some of the applicants, no? So, you should always prepare your background as well. So, including na rin dito yung mga background noises. If you could control those uh, better, no? Kasi yung mga samples na mga background noises that we could control is yung mga um, people around us. Kasi syempre, pwede naman natin silang pagsabihan na before we start your interview, diba, that you'll have an interview. So, if they could talk or, you know, lessen or lower their voices if they need to talk talaga inside their room, ganun. Or if it's not um, controllable naman, let's say, for example, yung kapitbahay yung maingay, or sometimes there are sometimes may dogs na magbabark, ganun. So, you can control that naman. And of course, um, just to look um, professional lang then of course, apologize na lang then to your interviewer. Of course, it's not your fault kasi nga, it's not controllable. Eh. But the fact that you apologize lang then regarding it shows uh, professionalism na rin kasi in a sense. So, there. And then, um, another is um, make a proper exit, no? So this is quite overlooked lang din as well by most of the applicants, no? Kasi if ever pwedeng mauna na si interviewer na umalis, you could wait for them naman to leave it. Uh, better, no? But if you're a you really have to go, just make sure na um, na-acknowledge na ni interviewer na aalis ka, ganon. Or like, uh, nakapagpaalam ka talaga ng maayos. So, there. So these four are the most, uh, I think, tips that I could give, no, major tips that I could give in um, making yourself look professional in the eyes of the interviewer, even if um, you're just uh, freshly graduate pa lang, no, from college, no, kasi it's important din talaga to um, let them know na parang uh, professional ka, in a sense. So, there. And then, yeah, so first things first, no, another topic that I'll be tackling right now uh, is tips on answering interview questions. And then I'm, I've included then dito some frequently asked questions and of course, how you're going to nail them. So first things first, no, before I proceed, I just want to emphasize that uh, you should really research about the company that you're applying for. So since the, para, I know, because it will give you an idea on their industry and also on what culture that they have. And it will also give you an idea on what questions you could ask after the interview no kasi uh, most of the interviews kasi after that the interviewer asks you naman if you have any questions so uh, if nag research ka regarding the company you would ask relevant questions no so of course pag tinanong ka ng ganun, don't just ask any 
um, any random questions, but make sure na it's well thought of and it's something na relevant talaga uh, on the industry of the company or the role that you applied for. So some examples would be like, um, you could directly ask, what is the culture of the company? Ah, actually, like, kung paano yung environment, paano yung camaraderie between the colleagues, and and stuff like that. So, there. Uh, it doesn't mean naman as interviewer lang yung laging mag-ask ng questions. So, it's a good thing then if you would um, ask questions them uh, then sa kanila from time to time, especially kung dun sa dulo. Kasi it gives uh, plus points then that you're really interested with um, getting to know the, getting to know the company or um, it, it shows the enthusiasm regarding the role, no? So going to the next slide, um, there. So these are the four um, tips that I could give you on how to answer questions, no? So first one is to um, let uh, listen to the interviewer and let them finish their questions. So this is quite simple, no? But as I've been mentioning kanina, uh, madami rin kasi talaga no, overlook yung mga applicants when they... Um, they're in the platform. Sometimes it's because of the kaba, ganon, or sometimes uh, they're just too um, eager to answer the questions na hindi na nila napapatapos. So, uh, it's parang a continuation then on uh, how you look professional kasi, but at the same time, it uh, shows respect din kasi to the interviewer, no? So, let them finish. Kasi baka mamaya, you answered agad, and then malayo naman pala yung answer mo, di ba? So, uh, there. So, it's okay then to pause lang din muna before you answer the question because it shows that you're really thinking about um, how you're going to answer that. So, it's okay. You don't have to be pressured naman if they're waiting on the other line or whatsoever because that's normal, especially for um, um, fresh grads uh, like you. It's normal naman to, you know, have um, jitters spread on your first interview or first few interviews rather. And then uh, another is the STAR method. So if you're not yet familiar with the STAR method, so it's a S for situation, T for task, A for action, and R for result. No, so um, you always uh, you always use the STAR method when you answer um, uh, skill based questions. No, so it should always be uh, parang related to a certain skill na magagamit mo for that. Uh, role. So let's say, for example, like for events planning, yung mga ganon. So yun yung par events organizer yung role, ganon. So you answer the question, let's say, for example, kung paano ka mag-organize ng event. You you use this uh, situ state of situation, ano yung naging task mo on that particular event, what was your action and what was your result. So always use this when you answer uh, a skill-based question. So para mas ma-highlight lang yung skills mo. And then another is answer honestly, no? So even if it's something that is not quite agreeable for others or might put you in a bad light. Example, let's say, for example, recently I've had this applicant na uh, I asked him why he decided to leave uh, the previous company, no? He was honest enough to let me know na kaya siya nag-leave. Actually, he didn't leave the company, no? Naalis siya because he didn't, he didn't pass yung training nila for that uh, for the technical training no? and he was honest enough to say that so other others kasi would you know sabi nila din na sila nag-pursue because hindi na nila pala ganun ka gusto yung position or whatsoever but he was honest enough to let me know that so uh, i gave him a chance naman and then he continued with the next part but um ayun hindi lang din talaga nakapasa with the exams then so it, it, it we didn't pursue na rin with him but of course we gave him naman proper feedback kasi uh, everyone deserves naman a feedback no so going back to what i said kanina lang based on explanations no so hindi lang naman kayo yun dapat nag-explain si employer then and here in direct uh, we do that din naman as well we give um proper feedback then if nakapasa sila or not so regardless of their application we always give feedback naman to the applicant so there and then another is speak clearly and mind your tone so this is pertaining to te technical difficulties no so let's say for example uh, mahina yung signal on your end so hindi marinig ni uh, interviewer hindi ko marinig so of course uh, papaulit ko sa yung answer mo so um minsan kahit parang inulit mo na hindi pa rin talaga maintindihan and that's normal kasi talaga when it comes to you know virtual interviews so um be patient na lang din and always always find your tone i know it can be annoying yung paulit-ulit at times but 
please be mindful that uh, yung kausap mo is an employer, not just a friend or whatsoever. So if you're naiinis na or uh, something, kung pa ulit ulit, please be mindful pa rin of your tone. Kasi I've had applicants before na ganun nga yung nangyari. And then, um, nagiging mas mungit yung tone nila in the end. So it's not uh, anyone's fault naman when it comes to technical difficulties. So bring lots and lots of patience when it comes to virtual interviews talaga. So there, that's the last part of, uh, I'll be sharing, that's the last part na for this one. No? So I'll be sharing na just a, a bonus points na lang regarding on how to answer the frequently asked questions no? and how you're going to uh, nail them, of course. So here, these are some of the commonly asked questions and how to answer them. So if you would notice in the slides, I put the, um, uh, questions at the bottom and on top of that is uh, kung saan dapat magsi-center or magre-revolve yung answers mo. So let's say for example for question number one, uh, tell me about yourself. So answer something um, personal, no, something unique about you na wala dun sa resume mo. No? Kasi of course, uh, the interviewers reviewed that naman eh, or the recruiters, employers, they reviewed that naman na already. So just, pag nagtatanong kami nito, we usually want to ask something or we usually want you to say something that's not uh, entirely included in your uh, resume or something personal that you are comfortable with sharing. Kasi uh, most of the time, they ask lang din naman to, or we ask lang din naman to, is to know you on a personal level and of course to ease lang din talaga the kaba of the um uh interviewees or kayo ganun so there and then another is uh what are your strengths and weaknesses no so always answer this regard uh base your answers dito sa mga skills nyo so i've mentioned kanina regarding the star method so if you're going to state a strength so siguro one or two would do and then just briefly um answer it using the star method no not too mahaba naman in a sense na baka ang haba na nang nasabi mo na situation ganun so summarize it so you could practice naman before and interview eh. so there and then for the weaknesses um if you're going to um state a weakness of yours always make sure uh, yung pagka follow don is yung um how you're what you are doing on how you're um parang in overcome yun so uh weakness and how you are uh paano mo siya in overcome i'm sorry so there and then um last uh, another is uh where do you see yourself in five years no so answer this na nagre-revolve dun sa goals mo so most of the time what we gauge here lang naman is if our applicants has a, has plans ba for the future no so doesn't matter if it's small or grand but what matters is gusto lang namin din makita kung ano yung ba yung nagmo-motivate dito sa applicant na to so just another personal thing lang no na ginigage namin during an interview kasi of course every employer naman wants uh, a motivated applicant or employee diba so there so this di naman kailangan na nakaset na talaga yung 5 years mo or 10 years mo so what i've mentioned nga kahit small lang would do kahit yung kahit 1 year nga lang so at least it shows that you're planning about your life no so it's not just about uh, getting a job lang naman siguro in life in general we would want to to you know talk to someone with plans din talaga sa buhay nila diba so there and then lastly um what are your expectations in our company no this is usually asked then talaga. And uh, to answer this question, just revolve around um, your true expectations talaga. So there, normally, uh, nagsiset lang talaga na expectations dito sila interviewer. And to answer this, just be direct to the point on what you expect. And most likely, if there's something naman na hindi align sa hanap mo, sa kaya i-provide nila company. So let's say, for example, uh, usually with the salary range, mga ganon. Or like, let's say, for example, mas madali, work schedule. So some of the companies kasi have five-day work schedule, some has six, no? So let's say, for example, here kasi indirect, uh, we have a six-day work schedule, no? Although we have naman this company holiday then every month which is one Saturday off. Ganun. So usually may mga applicants maghahanap niyan. Sasabihin nila expected din nila yung mga regarding sa work week. Ganun. So kung narinig na namin na five yung gusto nila, of course we're going to open up na here. It's not really like that. And then we're going to state lang din para makapag-level kami with you when it comes to um, 
your expectations. So, there. Uh-huh. Okay, so there, that's about it, no? So, yun lang. If you have any questions pa regarding my talk, uh, just comment it there, and I'll be happy to answer it naman. So, Thank you, Miss Stephanie. Ayan. Sure. Um, um, habang nag-iisip sila ng questions po nila, mm-hmm. okay guys, the floor is open for your questions. May tinir pero ako ma'am na tanong. So ma'am, a uh, question lang po for for you for fresh grads. Usually, ano po mga positions yung open sa direct business ko? Uh, for fresh grads, naman, uh, we are open naman for them. No? So some of our positions dito, let's say for example for sales, no? Kasi if I saw in the comments na ano na meron tayong mga marketing management dito and business ad, no? So uh uh, sa, sa sales namin na business unit, no, our open for that one is the sales activity specialist. So basically, it's for a uh, lead generation. So parang it's the first level ng another position namin, which is product consultant. So they are going to um, le- uh, generate leads via calls and emails. And then, is a set nila yan sa interview with our product consultants. Although, meron din kaming mga fresh grads na tinatanggap for product consultants. No? Sila product consultants kasi, sila yung nagda-demo of our softwares that I mentioned kanina during our company profile. No? So, ganun. So, yung mga exceptional na fresh grads, nakakonsider din sila for that post. And then, for the other naman, since I saw here, may accountancy then and comsci na students. So, we have IT, um, IT and accountancy then na uh, courses dito or parang mga positions that we are looking for that kind of uh, background. No? So for the accountancy one, what we have is um, functional consultants. So basically, in a nutshell, a functional consultant does kasi if I'm going to level in terms of accountancy na parang terminologies. No? So functional consultancy kasi in a, in a nutshell, it's comparable to auditing in a sense kasi pag audit, you, you know, uh, analyze the system of the client to check for discrepancies and all. So basically, yun yung ginagawa ng functional consultant dito. But at the same time, ini-integrate nila or ini-implement nila yung business solutions that we offer, especially the ERP solutions. So yun, open kami for um, ex- exceptional fresh grads for that one. So if you're interested, uh, ibibigay naman ni Ms. Uh, Shari, sorry, Shari, no? Tama. Yes, okay. Yung um, ano namin, uh, profile namin sa Jobs 180, no? And then lastly, another dun sa IT. For ComSci and IT graduates, we have din naman an opening for technical consultants and uh, research and development consultants. So the, uh, for R&D, research and development consultants, basically, it's uh, about develop developers kasi yun. So basically, in a nutshell, ganon. And then kung ano naman, technical consultants, sila usually for uh, uh, IT technical stuff, like for software and hardware, mga configuration, installation, and troubleshooting for software and hardware na parang products namin dito kay Direct. So there. So oh, very open okay. kami for fresh chats. Yes. All right. Ma'am, we have a question just came in from Leslie Ann Guerrera. Um, hello, Miss. I remember I was interviewed once. She asked me what my goals were after five years. But that time, I wasn't. Naputol, ma'am. Hindi ko alam yung next, <laughs> next na line. Pero pupunaan ko na lang, ma'am. But that yeah. time, I wasn't prepared to answer. Ano po kaya ang magandang sagot dito? Well, um, siguro you could answer naman na, you could be honest, no, what I mentioned kanina, no, honesty kasi talaga is the best policy. So, if you're not yet really, um, sure, kasi of course, fresh cats, mga ganyan, eh, mga hindi pa talaga ganun ka sure, no, yung, um, gagawin nila, or like plans nila, like five-year plans, kahit short, be honest na lang. Siguro, I mentioned nga, no, kahit short term lang naman, siguro kahit, uh, for that year, di ba? For bakit ka ba nag... You could uh, answer na lang is for this year. So sabi mo, wala ka pa talaga for five years. But for this year, I have na. And these are my plans now. So let's say, for example, pwede mo rin banggitin na to be... Uh, to land a job din talaga na I'm really passionate about. Yung parang ganun. Okay, so so lang for term. Term. Yeah, Yes, yeah. yeah. Na may direction kang gustong patunayan or puntahan yeah. sa buhay mo. <laughs> ganun. Yeah. Okay, so that's it, Miss um, Miss Tiffany. So thank you for being with us for this morning. We hope to see you again in the future sessions that we're going to have for other schools. So guys, if you have no more questions for Miss Tiffany, you can check their vacancies. It's at jobswing.com slash directbusiness. It's flashing on the screen. Po. So 
ano lang kayo, check nyo yung mga positions nila doon and apply to them. Alright? So, thank you, Miss Tiffany. Have a great afternoon thank po. Thank you, Miss Marie. Thank you for this opportunity as well. Till next time. <laughs> Till next time. Bye, Bye, Bye. I found a question here from Andrea Marie Bercasio. What section in the Jobs and Eater resume link can we put in our involvement with school organizations? Um, if it's a position, if you're like you have a position in the organization, you can put it under achievement. Pwede rin naman kahit member. So, lagay mo lang doon. Um, uh, Vice President for Finance and Marketing, tapos yung org, school org, kung anong org yun. Alright? Our second speaker for this afternoon is Mr. Mark Aurelio. So, he is junior is a junior executive from Cognizant. He graduated from Polytechnic University of the Philippines in 2015 with a degree in Bachelor's of Science in Business Administration major in Human Resource Development Management. He joined Cognizant fresh from college, a senior co coordinator for the Team Talent Acquisition, Acquisition Group, and has progressed as the campus and events channel lead, taking on junior executive functions. So as a young and dynamic HR professional, Mr. Mark Aurelio has been recognized during 2017 Gawad Silab Awards as Rookie of the Year, 2018 High Club Awards, and 2019 Regional HR Jam Awards for Going Beyond Boundaries. So, Sir Mark, if you're there, please join our stream, Paul. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Sir Mark um, got into a technical error. So, let's check with our tech. Where are we on that? All right. Okay, so in case you guys have questions, um, pwede nyo ilagay muna dito habang inaantay natin makabalik sa Sir Mark. Ayan. So, reminders again, um, please make sure that you have verified your account ni jobsin80.com. Ibig sabihin to, gumamit kayo ng active na email address. Tapos, nakapag-verify kayo using that email address. Yung mga hindi verified accounts, hindi sila nakaka-apply. So, kailangan verified yung account nyo para magtuloy-tuloy yung application nyo doon sa mga companies. Okay? Number two, um... Number two, if you have questions na nahihiya kayo itanong dito sa comment box natin, pwede nyo i-message directly sa Jobs 80 page. Meron tayong mga customer support um, um people na tasagot nung mga inquiries ninyo, especially if it's on your account or anything in general, career, um job hunting na question, pwede nyo ilagay doon. Alright? Um, what else we have? Um, we would like to invite you to a series of webinars that we are we will be hosting for other schools. So if you have time, so meron coming art to you tomorrow. We have NCST on Wednesday. On Friday, we have um Divine Word College of Legaspi and Sorsogon State College. So the details of those will be posted on our Facebook page. So if you want to check out kung ano yung mga topics na discuss doon, pwede rin natin siyang makita doon sa Facebook page ni Jowson. Okay. All right. So, we're going start pa si Sir Mark ng laptop niya. So, for the meantime, we will be playing a video. So, a short video lang. So, habang inaantay natin si Sir Mark. Para may refresh tayo about um jobs180.com resume link. Step 1, register. Go to www.jobs180.com. Click register now. In choosing your resume link, use your full name so that it looks professional and is easy to recall by potential employers. And fill out the other information needed.
After you register, go to your email address and validate your Jobs180.com account to activate. Step 2. Complete your resume link. resume link, make sure to complete your personal and contact information, your profile picture, and your cover photo. You can also put your objectives, work options, work experience, certifications, achievements, skills and languages, references, and portfolio. Your resume link also features different themes and a cover photo. Step 3. Submit your resume link. If you are qualified, click Submit Resume Link or you can even share the job vacancy with your friends. You can also apply for jobs outside Jobs180.com by sending your resume link through any platform. Register. Complete. Submit your resume link. So what are you waiting for? Turn your life around by creating your own resume link and applying for your dream job. Ayan. So let's introduce our Mark again. So to discuss hiring for work from home jobs, um, here is Mr. Mark Aurelio, HR Junior Executive from Cognit Cognizant Technology Solutions. So Sir Mark, if you're ready na po. Hi, sir. I can see you. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Can you hear me? Good morning, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. I can hear you and I can see you na po. Can we test sharing our screen, sir? Sure. Sure. Is it on, sir? Ayan, sir, loading na po. Ayan. Pa full screen na lang po ako, sir. Sir, the screen is on. Um, you're on na po. Um, patest lang ako ng audio, sir. Hello, can you hear, can you hear me? Yeah, sir. Okay na po tayo, sir. Good na po tayo. So, sir, I will be back po in 20 minutes for the Q&A. The floor is yours, sir. All right. So, um, guys and girls, first of all, uh, maulan na umaga sa inyong lahat kung umuulan sa sa location niyo. So, uh, and yun, uh, second, wala lang. Gusto ko lang mag-first of all. Um, Alright, so please type 1 kung okay yung audio ko. All right, so everyone, can you can you type one if okay yung audio ko? Can you type one in the comment box section? Lag ata yung comment box section. Okay, well anyway, um, let's get into this, no? 
um, grab a grab a notepad or pen. Uh, we're going to prepare you for the big interview. Uh, Mark here. I have been in a recruiter for five years now, and in, in those years, I have uh, learned a thing or two about hiring and uh, getting hired. So now I'm here to share what I know uh, with you. So if that sounds good, uh, please comment good in the comment back section. Okay, so uh, I'm also uh, here to help you uh, understand about Cognizant. I'm going to show you uh, Cognizant growth and uh, credentials. And I hope that you will find them as helpful as they have. So uh, to start, uh, Cognizant is a market leader and was founded in uh, 1994. We are a U.S.-based company and uh, specifically in New Jersey, which have 283,000 employees. Um, Cognizant is a leading provider um, of IT, consulting, and uh, business process outsourcing. So in terms of uh, BPS uh, or business process services, um, we have a big global footprint. So in, when we say big, uh, we have delivery centers or global offices <clears throat> uh, in the regions. So we also support um, our clients using different languages. Uh, we hire Arabic, Korean, and especially Mandarin speakers. Um, also, uh, despite the global uh, pandemic situation, we were able to increase our revenue um, by 4% year over year. Okay, so if you'll notice, guys, um, yeah, that's 4% um, up. Uh, revenue uh, for fiscal year 2019. So, di ba? Um, pandemic na yun, guys, no? Pero Cognizant was able to um, increase pa yung new revenue. So, hashtag lang, uh, Cognizant sa kalam, no? So, next, um, who among you here, guys, are familiar with Fortune 500? Can you type familiar in the chat box? Okay, so if you're familiar, guys, uh, please type familiar in the comment back section. Okay, so if you're not familiar, uh, a Fortune 500, it's an annual list published by uh, Fortune magazine, which they tap the uh, top 500 companies in the US uh, based on their revenue. So <clears throat> back in 2013, um, Cognizant is ranked uh, rank in 352. And as we combine the passion and uh, the, and for, for uh, passion for client satisfaction and technology innovation, we were able to take the 194 spot. And at the same time, we are one of the most admired companies in 2020, uh, 12 years in a row. Okay. Uh, we also part of the Forbes Global 2000 in 2020. So we are top 533. Okay. So uh, let me ask you guys. Um, are, are you ready to find the job of your dreams in your 2021? Okay. Can you type ready if you are ready to uh, uh, find the job of your dreams in 2021? Well, um. I'll pretend that I, I can see the, the comment back session, no? pero um, feel free to comment in the comment back section. Okay, so um, if you're ready to find your dreams, uh, to find your uh, to find the job of your dreams in 2021, uh, you're going to need to know what are the changes or improvements uh, company made in their hiring process. So why is that? But namin kailangan malaman. 
uh, because uh, the hiring process um, has transformed dramatically over the years. So in, in large part due to uh, technological advancement advancement or because of COVID-19 pandemic. Okay? So in our case, we have strengthened our capabilities to conduct recruitments using technology. For example, um, web conference platforms. Um, example, WebEx, okay? Um, in our recruitment, uh, we use WebEx uh, to uh, conduct interviews or uh, live video interviews, okay? And, and this is the new trend now, no? Uh, and will continue to be for uh, even um, after na makarecover tayo sa pandemic. And therefore, for, for you guys na fresh graduates, for new aspirants, and um, uh, you know, for students or professional na gusto mag-switch ng job, um, it is very crucial now uh, to get acquainted with the process of virtual interviews. Okay, So in this presentation, guys, uh, I'll give you the top three video, um, three video interview tips uh, for a work from home jobs in 2021. Okay. And uh, sit down and listen all the way to the end for this presentation, uh, as this might be the most important information you've seen this year. Okay, so so before we get too deep into this, uh, I want to define some terms because uh, there are different kinds of video interviews. So the one step, the step one. Uh, Number one tip uh, for uh, for a live video interview is preparing for your live interview. So can you comment live video interview interview in the comment back section? Okay. So um. So yeah, as I mentioned, I want to define the terms uh, for uh, for different kind of video interview. So the first kind of a, a uh, of a live video interview is the pre-recorded video. So wherein a candidate is uh, invited via email to um, to participate in a pre-recorded video. So in other words, they are going to uh, record themselves. Um, answering predetermined questions. So there is there is no human being in the uh, in the other end. So wala ka makikita ng tao. Parang kinakausap mo lang yung sarili mo. Okay? So then the, the video uh, system dictates the face of the interview. Um, okay? So for, so for uh, example, free recorded video, there are platforms na you, you need, after uh, sending your resume, uh, you will send uh, a pre-recorded uh video interview wherein uh you will speak for 30 seconds only and hindi mo na pwedeng ulitin so um it is um it is very important now to understand uh the the steps or the process of uh, for uh in a virtual interview so the second type would be the 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 live video interview so in other words human being uh you there's human beings on both sides so if the, the and they can see each other real time so the one that, that that we are using right now is the live video interview so we will um we will send you an email uh when candidate is invited via email to participate in a live video interview okay so so let's talk about um, preparing for your uh, live video interview. So you are going to uh, prepare as well. Um, similar to uh, how you would prepare to for any other interview. So you are going to research for the company. Um, you are going to check their social media pages. And um, you're going to try uh, to find common connections there. So last would be you are going to uh, know the skills that they are looking for. So I covered the latter in the previous topic last February 15. So the topic is skills companies look for when hiring. So you may want to check that up to check that video out. Okay. So but now 
uh, there's a technical component uh, you need to prepare to prepare as well. Uh, most of this live video interview um, or virtual recruitment exams allow you the opportunity to to test your system or to test the system of the employer. So um, and also you need to make sure that it's working before you actually begin your interview exam. So let me give you an example. Um, we last month we have a candidate. Uh, he's insisting. Uh, to retake his exam and naka parang naka speaker siya and any everyone can hear him so ini insist niya na gusto niya mag retake ng exam because there's a system glitch and hindi okay yung microphone niya hindi siya masyadong naririnig hindi okay yung headphone niya and for for, for that um situation we need to be firm na um you can take you cannot retake the exam yes because because um before the exam you have uh an ample time to test your uh, to, to test the system and imagine guys if we will um, allow him to to retake the exam and everyone can hear him um anyone can say to us that she he or he she failed the interview because of a system glitch or because um his microphone or headphone is not working so we need to be firm not al to allow him to retake the exam so very important part uh, part is to take advantage of the uh, of that opportunity to, opportunity to test okay so because you'll never know um you, you You'll never know you may need to download uh, some additional application software uh, you may need to update your existing web conference platform so you'll never know what might happen uh, so you make sure to test in advance okay okay so far may natututunan ba everyone guys and girls um if in case meron kayong natututunan can you type fantastic in the comment back section just type fantastic okay so okay so also um you need to prepare the next step is you need to prepare for the work environment or or to prepare your environment when you're taking the exam or the virtual interview um because you, you need to be cognizant of what's in the background um maingay ba yung background nyo um may mga naglalaro ba na kids sa paligid nyo um meron bang um nagmamaratilyo sa kapitbahay nyo. So you need to prepare your environment. Uh, what kind of noise you might hear and uh, what uh, and how the how is the acoustics in the room. Okay. So you'll never know uh, this might be one of the requirements that employers are checking before their job offer. Okay. So they will also check your environment. Since this is for a work from home jobs, um, employers would would like to be uh, at peace that their um, employees are in the right environment. So, uh, and less yung destruction para to perform their duties and responsibilities as employee, okay? <clears throat> so, um, or some, some of the companies, um, di ba baka i-obliga ka pa na magkaroon ng house tour, di ba? So since this is a work from home jobs, as, as I mentioned, employers are very, some of the employers are strict when it comes to uh, checking the environment of the, or working environment uh, ng empleyado, okay? So as I mentioned, baka mas strict sila. Yung obliga ka nila uh, para magkaroon ka ng house tour, di ba? I, di ba? Instant YouTuber ka kaagad. Diba? So kidding aside, um, Next would be if you're going to use a, a if you're using a mobile device, um, a mobile phone or tablet, 
I, I strongly recommend that you don't try to handhold it. So, wag niyo siyang mahawakan because the video na rin nag-interview ka, uh, don't um um parang don't try to handhold it kasi yung video uh is going to be shaky, di ba? So, so you might want to check in online shops for the expensive or sorry, for the inexpensive mobile stand. Uh, yeah, example, uh, the one that you are seeing in the uh, in my slide. So that's a mobile stand. So my mobile stand, the one that I bought from the department store, uh, it cost me 299 pesos only. So, and it comes with a ring light. Okay. So the main purpose naman of a ring light is uh, to distribute light so evenly. Okay. So it is great for video. And it's also a lot of fun uh, to to play with uh, to play with. Uh, it's also a lot of fun uh, fun to to play with, di ba? Kasi may ring light. Kunare, you want to uh, take uh, pictures uh, or take uh, videos, di ba? Ang sarap. Uh, oh, pwede mo din paglaruan, okay? And um, well, guys, no, you don't necessarily to. Uh, you don't necessarily need to uh, to have this uh, or need this, but if you can afford 299 pesos, um, I think it's worth the expense, okay? Okay, now uh, when it comes to lighting uh, and sound, um, you, you want to check the lighting also in the room. So if you are using the, an, a natural light, um make sure that uh the light uh, or you keep the window uh, parang if it's natural light kailangan yung camera nyo nasa likod ng window okay so hindi siya na na, na nakaharap sa window kasi uh pwedeng hindi ka na makita kung yung yung camera mo is nakatapat sa sa kung natural light lang siya from window okay and if you are um, nasa bahay din, if you are at home, then you have pets. Uh, or kaya naman sa bahay nyo may mga maliliit pa kayo na kapatid. Um, parang the, the bath, yung bathroom may actually be one of the best options. So you go for, you go for some privacy. So kunwari sobrang ingay ng bahay nyo. Uh, but basta just to make sure hindi nakikita yung toilet dun sa video, di ba? And when when you are in the bathroom naman, I know guys na iniisip nyo, pero um, when you are in the bathroom, di ba, as I've mentioned, um, kunwari sobrang ingay talaga sa bahay nyo, pwede yung best option talaga is bathroom pag wala ka na magagawa. Um, and pag um, you are uh, in the bathroom, um, check din also yung echo. So... Uh, yun. So, talaga, you need to check or prepare your environment when it comes to virtual interview or exams. Okay? So, kaya naman, nasa kwarto ka, ilak mo na lang yung, ano, yung pintuan. Diba? Okay. So, uh, once you have tests, um, ensure that everything is working. Um, you don't need to download any software, additional software. Um <clears throat> And, and your environment is okay, um, lighting is okay, uh, sound is good, then it's time to move on to the next step, so, which is the preparation for your attire, okay? So, so, uh, so my advice uh, for attire when it comes to video interview, whether it's live or pre-recorded video, um, para my advice is, is is the same. So, parang wear the suit and ditch the tie. Okay. Um, okay. Be at least um, siguro business casual. Uh, don't you think, uh, wag nyo yung isipin na kaya to, kunwari virtual interview, kaya to ng pajamas nyo or yung street clothes nyo. Um, so, don't do that. Um, as much as possible, uh, smart casual. Okay. Pero just to add, no, how, um, I know yung mga lalaki makaka-relate dito eh. Parang there is something to be said and 
uh, about this, no? And as I mentioned, men can relate uh, or uh, can agree with this. Parang there's something about a wearing uh, a good suit or uh, a good suit or good clothes, de ba? Or yung paborito yung damit. Um, kasi it, parang for for a man that makes parang that makes a man more powerful. Kung nare in my case, um, when you go to the interview, parang meron kang iisa or mga tatlo or dalawa na nadamit na paborito mo. And if if you think na you look good at that ano at that suit or clothes um parang there's eh, nga, parang it uh, that makes the man more powerful na kapag suot mo yung paborito mong damit parang may ganun eh parang may aura na may energy ka nag parang yung may boosting confidence dun sa damit na yun so and a woman to absolutely uh meron din okay so if and if you got one na yung paborito niya ng damit, so tingin na, put on that clothes na. Uh, and then um, go to that interview. And yung boosting confidence na yun, um, it will definitely show through uh, in the interview. Okay. Okay. So, um, okay. The, the last step or last tips uh, for a video interview uh, for a work from home jobs in 2021 would be the uh, do anything you can to, uh, you can to avoid destruction so picture this everyone you are in the uh, you are on the last questions of a recorded video interview nasa tingin mo maganda na yung resulta parang okay na lahat smooth na uh, and then this one yung huling may isang tanong na lang pinaka huli uh, and then yung yung sagot mo dun sa tanong na yun, parang may pressure masyado. And you only have few seconds to prepare. You only have few seconds to answer. And you don't have another opportunity. And if this answer doesn't go well, um, you cannot record the the interview again. Di ba? So parang, and also, parang you're just explaining the data points kung bakit ikaw yung best candidate dun sa sa work na yun, then merong, mer- yung kapatid mo pumasok. Ayan, as you can see in the uh, video, parang may dun sa re-reporter niya, in the interview siya, yung three-year-old, uh, parang his three-year-old wonders uh, in the room. Diba? And then, parang, parang, parang there's no way that uh, you can, ano eh, you can ignore it na pag andyan na, di ba? Pero it can happen and, and, it, and it does happen. Uh, and if you don't take that, uh, if you don't take any precaution uh, to minimize uh, destruction, it will happen. Huwag mo lang hayaan mangyari sa'yo. Okay, so if you took nothing of this presentation, um, take this no uh one is minimize your destruction and start doing whatever you have to do uh and become more comfortable in camera today kasi business these days uh is going to be done more and more remote more and more meetings are going to be taken place over web access so more and more presentations will be done on camera Ba? And being comfortable in camera is going to be an important skill in 2021. Okay. All right. So if this is my last last slide. Um, I hope na mayroong kayong natutunan, uh, guys and girls. And yeah, I want also to invite you uh, to if you are a job seeker looking for your uh, First job, you might want to uh, check out our uh, Cognizant page in Jobs 180. That would be, uh, you can take a snapshot of this. Uh. So visit our uh, Cognizant, uh, Cognizant uh, website in Jobs 180. And if you are um, um, a student or hindi ka pa mag-graduate, 
you might want to explore or um, be part of our Cognizant Campus community. So just uh, read, um, sign up to the, to the link that I uh, pasted in the slide. So that would be uh, the link. So just sign up. Um, if you are um, if you are a, still a student, uh, sign up for our campus community. And if you are a job seeker, please apply to our openings. We are looking for fresh graduates. Um, all courses will do. And if you are uh, a Mandarin speaker, we also hiring uh, for for that uh, for that uh, we're looking for for that profile. Um, and what's good about um, bilingual uh, candidates? Oh, uh, there are also um, um, language premium, so it's an, an additional um, benefit aside from your basic salary. Okay, so please. Um, um send us a uh, or apply in our job openings in jobs 180 so i think i'm good now thank you for um listening i'll stop sharing now thank you for that sir mark here we have a question from sir jeremiah Ong. is it better to speak in english all throughout the job interview or should we also need to respond in tagalog if the question by the hr is in tagalog Um, well, it depends. No? Um, if you are applying for, for a customer service job in a BPO, in a, in a BPO company, um, the, the primary uh, skill that we're looking for is, is the communication skills. So if you are asked um, to, uh, in English uh, by the recruiter, you should answer in English as much as, as um, give your best shot to answer your uh, to answer the, the questions in English. Because as I mentioned, it's, uh, it's one of the skills uh, that we are looking for um, yeah, in the BPO setup. But if you're, if you're applying for uh, a live streamer or um, in a um, social media uh, platform like TikTok, I think there's no need to, um, no need to uh, speak in English. But uh, so... We will go back to uh, to the basics. You need to research about the company. You need to research uh, what skills are they looking for for that specific job. You um, and then, yeah, um, try to find um, um, friends who who is working in that company. So, research more about the position that you are applying, and know the skills that you are looking for for that specific role or position. Uh, thank you for that, sir. So bottom line, guys, is it depends on the position and to any job description of position. All right, sir, um, may we ask about, um, since we have, um, um, I'm thinking since this is Chiang Kai-shek College of Manila, there would be people who are fluent in other languages such as Mandarin. So, sir, can we, um, can we tell them about more on this position, para lang ma-entice sila sir, or ma-encourage sila sir na i-explore yung position na yun. Well, um, baseline qualification um, is um, you're knowledgeable about the about the language. So it's Mandarin. Um, you should know how the basics on how to write or speak in Mandarin. And from there, it's a uh, um, you have an advantage na to other candidates, diba? If you know how to read and write um, in that language. And aside from that, it's already your technical skill. I always say this, no? Um, not uh, focus also in your soft skills. So one of the um, skills, uh, most of, as I mentioned in my previous talk or uh, in the February 15 topic, as uh, skills in uh, companies look for when hiring, mas mabigat yung soft skills kaysa sa hard skills. Um, you need to uh, also um, focus on the soft skills. So what are those soft skills? Ba? Collaboration, your uh, critical thinking, how you were, um, your ability to think through problems. Um, 
adaptability, diba? So, if the employment is, um, I mean, the, 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 the deployment area for the position is integig, you must adapt na, you're, you must be amenable to work in uh, the gig if you're living in Manila, diba? So, and you should, um, one more, th- one more important skill is collaboration. So, uh, ito yung skill din hinahanap namin. So, kasi if you are uh, still an applicant, we will check if you are fit in our environment. So, makakapag-collaborate ka ba sa teams mo? Makakapag, uh, will, will, uh, will you be able to uh, uh, perform well in a group or individual contributor ka? Diba? So, um, it's more important to have the collab- collaboration skill. And the last last skill is the emotional intelligence. So, um, you have, as much as possible, you ha- uh, you, um, it's your ability to uh, to read the room. So, to your ability to, um, uh, kung ano ba yung mga nararamdaman ng mga, imbali, ng mga, ano mo, ng mga um, workmates mo, um, then last step would be yung persuasion din. Tingitingnan din yan. Kasi kung ikaw, uh, aplikante, i-hire kita sa team, gusto ko din, mayroon ding leadership skill or mayroong persuasion, di ba? Na persuasion. Kasi you will, um, kapag nag-perform ka ng well dun sa job mo, parang pwede ka maging leader. And this is one one of the um, soft skills na important din when um when we look for an applicant or a qualification right. for an applicant right. so thank you for that sir i think we got everything that we need from your answer pa so again for you guys if you want to check out vacancies in cognizant you can check out jobsunity.com slash cognizant ph for their list of vacancies i'm sure sir mark will be um, waiting for your guys um applications all right so thank you again sir mark we hope to see you again in the next session spot. Thank you, sir. Have a great day. Have a great day. All right. So thank you, sir. To officially close our session, may we invite Jeremiah Ong, president of the senior organization, to close our event today. My fellow students, after all the hard work that we've been putting in in our academic subjects, our entry into the corporate world and its formalities should be carefully considered, especially now. We are in a pandemic where technology became the primary use of the companies, not only in hiring jobs, but also in their day-to-day operations and transactions. When it comes to applying for a job or an internship, the importance of a good resume and how you will be presenting yourself in a physical or a virtual job interview cannot be stressed upon enough in the current job market that's becoming increasingly competitive. And it is a sincere wish of mine that everyone who is present here today has been enriched and enlightened by this talk. On behalf of the junior and senior organization, I would like to thank the speakers, Mr. Kim Chua, Ms. Tiffany May Agdepa, Mr. Mark Anthony Aurelio for gracing our small webinar. The knowledge and experience you have imparted to us today is invaluable and will definitely be of great help to all CK Asians who attended. Thank you very much. Thank you for that, Jeremiah. So again, thank you guys for tuning in. Please watch out for the next set of webinars that we will be hosting for um, Sorsogon State College D- DWCL in this week. So again, please fill out the online evaluation form posted on the comment section. So this is to ensure your attendance for this afternoon session. Okay, so please make sure that you copy and paste that link and um, it will be available though in the comment section. Natin. All right, so if you are interested to check out other events for other schools, you can check out the topics that will be posted on our page and you're welcome to join those sessions too. So see you guys and have a great afternoon. Stay safe. Bye. Yeah. <laughs>